Our connection with Jesus helps us to grow. Our topic today, God is at work within you, part 2, Philippians 2 verse 13. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. That was Philippians 2 verse 13. The Bible says, it is God who is all the while effectually at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and desire both to will and to work in his good pleasure, satisfaction and delight. Philippians 2.13 We have a tendency to follow a hundred and one different things to crowd God out of our lives. So he creates within us the desire to do his will. When you desire to read your Bible, the Holy Spirit produces faith as we listen to what he says. It is God urging you to do it. When you desire to pray, it is God moving you to do it. When you desire to give, it is God motivating you to do it. All by his grace. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want, and it will be granted. John 15 verses 5 and 7. Note the word dwell. It means to live in and take up residence. So as you live in close relationship with Christ, the desires conceived within you are desires you can fulfill. Our connection with Jesus helps us to grow. The act of regular listening to God's word through a sermon, a Bible passage, Bible study, or a devotional like this, and others becomes imperative. Thereby, you grow in grace when you sense that God has put certain desires in your heart. It's important to pray and ask for those things. If you are not sure whether or not they are from Him, pray. Say, Lord, I believe you've put this desire in my heart, so I'm asking you to fulfill it, Lord. Have you reached that place in your relationship with God yet? Our meditation today is taken from Romans chapter 10 verse 17 and Ephesians chapter 6 verse 6. Romans chapter 10 So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes by the preaching of Christ. Ephesians 6 not in the way of eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. For your Bible study, read Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 to 18, Exodus chapters 33 and 34, and Proverbs 15. <music>